Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is John Hammond. And welcome back to the YouTube video. Still looking at Leviathan, the war game from Over the Wire, uh, an online wargaming website. So we just got the password for level five. Um, we can go ahead and use our connection command to uh, SSH in. Again, using SSH pass, passing the username password, etc. in the right port. So once we are connected and logged in, we can check out what's in the home directory. And we have this set UID binary we can tell because it is red. And if we check out the priv privileges and permissions and stuff like that, we see the S bit. So it is owned by Leviathan6. Then we get his uh, privileges and permissions when we run this binary. So let's go ahead and run this binary, see what it does. Leviathan5, it says, cannot find temp file dot log. Um, okay. Let's, uh, is, is there a temp file.log? It would help if I could type. Uh, there is no such file directory. Okay, so let's create the file. Let's just echo hello into temp file.log. Now, uh, now it exists. We can see it. Um, what will the Leviathan 5 program do? Okay, it just, uh, prints it out. Um, and then it's and then it deletes it it goes away okay whatever um well if it's just going to read out a file with the permissions of leviathan 5 or i suppose leviathan 6 right because that's the privilege this the next level that we want yeah it is running with leviathan 6 privileges so we want to get the password for Leviathan 6, and if we can read from a file, can we have a file kind of reflect what is um, in the password file? Like, can we can we just kind of fake read it? Um, yeah. The answer to that question is yes. So, um, kind of like, I, I don't really know a good way to explain this, so Google might do a better thing for us, um, but there are links between files, um, and symbolic links are the word, uh, the words that you will hear that will kind of be helpful in Linux that will, uh, I, I, for a while I thought of them as like a shortcut in Windows, like, okay, this will just link to another file, but it keeps some, some kind of properties, so it lets you literally read through that file, um, and other users or set UID binaries will follow these links and really read the files as we need them. So we can create a symbolic link that will act like it will refer to the password that we want, the Leviathan 6 password, and then we can level up or kind of uh, get past this level. So the way we make one of these, if you've checked out in the man pages, um, there is the tac tac symbolic and the shorthand for that is just tac s. So we can make a symbolic link with ln tech s um, for the Leviathan password, Leviathan 6, and we'll put that in the file.log file that this program wants to read for us. So now if we ls temp file.log, you can see it's got a special property here. It's kind of bluish. Um, and ls tech l, you can see it's a symbolic link. So it's redirecting to that password. It's still owned by me. I can still read it. Leviathan 5, we can still read it. But Leviathan 6, when it views this file, will follow the path to its own password. This is an interesting thing because we own this file, file.log, but we don't own Leviathan 6 password. So we can't read this, but we can read the symbolic link, the shortcut, and uh, weird, interesting thing, but it's a gimmick that will let us level up here. So let's check this out. Let's do um, Leviathan 5, run the program, and okay, <laughs> it just prints out the password for us because all that program does by default is print out the contents of tempfile.log. So now it's gone because it removed it, but we've already got the password. So let's go ahead and take note of that. Leviathan 6, paste it in here, and let's keep moving. Let's get to level 6. Connect here, over the wire war game. Connected, and we have Leviathan 6 as a set UID binary. Oh, and it's just another uh, four-digit pin code. Okay, well, we can do the same thing we did kind of at the end of Bandit in the previous series, and just do a for loop, brute force this. For I in... Let's go 0000, and let's go 9999. I learned my lesson from last time. 
Um, let's do Leviathan with that I key. And let's actually echo out what we are on, what, what iteration we're on, just so we know. And we'll start to run through it. Okay. It's just steaming along. Um, looks like it's actually moving pretty quick. And we got a shell. We got the dollar sign. Who am I? I'm Leviathan7. All right. Let's uh, let's check out the password here. Leviathan7. Oh, uh, I spelled that wrong. Leviathan7. And we got it. All right, cool. Oh, breaking out of that. <laughs> and... In our shell save here. Now we can connect to level 7. And I believe level 7 is the last level. You can check it out in the website over the wire. This is the very end. So cool, we did it. We just completed Leviathan from over the wire, their online war games. Cool. Pretty, pretty easy, pretty simple. We just ran through a lot of them. Uh, hope you guys learned a few things. If you haven't seen some of these tactics or techniques before, um, if you, again, have alternate solutions or other ways of going about some of these, how to, how to solve them, please share them in the comments. I don't know. Talk. Do some community stuff. Like. Share. <laughs> do great things. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying these videos. I'll see you later.